Hello guys, as you know my name is Daniel Fernandez, I'm the owner of ScienceInHydroponics.com and today I'm going to share with you the first video of a project, uh, our first project here on the YouTube channel that we're going to fully record and show you guys. And this project is all about Kratky of Kratky Hydroponics of flowering plants. For those of you who don't know, in Kratky Hydroponics you seek to grow a plant passively without any change in the amount of nutrition that you give it, with as little care as possible. This is very easy, well, very easy, this is relatively easy to do with smaller leafy greens, uh, but with flowering plants, it's not. And it's pretty, pretty hard to do because you need a lot of initial water and a lot of problems arise. So what we're going to do is that we're gonna use this, which is a 13 liter bucket that this is gonna be our crab key system. And I'm gonna use a small net pot and I'm gonna just drill a hole here and put this here with this media, which is a very, very uncommon combination in the US, very common anywhere else in the world of rice husks and river sand, which is a great hydroponic media for those of you who are unaware. You can use, of course, vermiculite or our light are more common choices, but this is what I have. So that's what we're gonna use. Uh, it's not also not very relevant because there's only like a little bit of media. I am going to germinate cherry tomatoes there. Oops. Cherry tomatoes there, put them here, put this here. And then I'm going to use this off-brand cheap hydroponic nutrients that I bought. Uh, you might be wondering why I didn't buy uh, make my own. And it's basically because I just want to use an off-brand cheap hydroponic nutrient that I could, anyone could buy so that they can follow the experiment if they want to. And then we're going to fill this up to the level of the net pot with nutrient solution prepared per the specification of the manufacturer. And then we're going to use a Mars Hydrolyte to grow this plant. Now the interesting thing here and what separates these from all the other Kratky stuff you see online is that we are going to track everything. Like we're gonna measure the pH of this thing and the EC 24 seven. We are going to track the amount of nitrogen. We're going to track the amount of potassium. We're going to track the amount of calcium. We're going to measure the hell out of this thing so that we can see how all these things change as a function of time. And you can see why it's a pretty bad idea to do crab key or flowering plants like this. But, it's, it's actually, the interesting thing is not to figure out why it is so difficult and so crappy, but to actually see if we can figure out a way to do it, to compensate for the things that happen by adjusting the chemistry or by, well, working with this thing. So this project will have a lot of things. This project will have building in a very bad way because I'm not very handy. So <laughs> there will be pretty uh, terrible building then there will be a lot of electronics because we're going to log all these things and we're going to build. If you've seen my blog post, I made a post about a pH EC controller using UFIRE electrically isolated probes that we're going to put here. And we are going to make a video about how we hook that up here and how we use that with a MyCoto server to actually monitor everything. And then you're gonna watch the plant grow. So there will be some time lapses and some sweet stuff. And you'll also get to see all the readings of the project probably online. We'll probably make up a website so that you can see all these variables live. Maybe, I don't know, comment if you like. Like and subscribe guys. I'll see you on the next video where we will go into the construction of this thing. See you then, bye bye.